Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Fallacious Truth. We are going to be analyzing two videos today, but not for their validity, but simply for their ignorance and ultimate stupidity. Now, up first, we have this turtleneck guy again. In the past few videos that we've had with him in it, I've had to mute the sound he uses as I get a copyright slap. So we're going to have to do that again for this. Uh, let's take a look at this video here. If you're the sort of person to say equal rights means equal fights, Ask yourself why your first reaction to gender equality is being allowed to hit women. Just admit that you've wanted to hit women all along. Am I the only one that notices the sarcastic smirk he has there at the end? Alright, let's start to break this down here. He states this. If you are the sort of person to say equal rights means equal fights, ask yourself, why is your first reaction to gender equality being allowed to hit women? Just admit that you've wanted to hit women all along. Does anyone know where this guy comes up with these nonsensical conclusions at? I mean, let's look at this through the lens that doesn't cater to a narrative that doesn't really exist. First off, who exactly says equal rights means equal fights? And furthermore, who, if someone actually said that, actually means it literally? I can't think of anyone who would mean that literally, and I highly doubt it was being used literally. Now, this does bring into focus an extremely valid comparison point, though. Equal rights means equal fights. I would strongly argue that this has nothing to do with actual fighting. This has nothing to do with the desire of a man to actually want to hit a woman, but has everything to do with the double standard of men and women, especially when it comes to physical violence, when it comes to hitting and fighting. Again, this has nothing to do with the desire of a man to actually want to hit a woman. A woman hitting a man is often laughed at in today's society. It's often looked at as the man being weak for the woman doing that to him. When in actuality, it's because of society that he's really unable to defend himself. I mean, say, just for a scenario, that she attacked him, she hit him, she slapped him. Any one of a dozen scenarios, really. He goes on to block her from hitting him, and she ends up with a bruise. Now she can call down to the police station, show the police her bruise. He is hauled away without question when all he did was defend himself by not attacking her. This happens far and all too often in today's society, and men are left with nothing ultimately to defend themselves, because women know they can get away with damn near anything, as we have been conditioned by society to believe them without a shred of evidence, without any proof, and without any context as to what happened. You know, I ask you, turtle guy, why is it that you assume that if a man states equal rights means equal fights, to the abysmal failure of the womanist movement that you assume that said man or men as a whole are referring to actually hitting women. The answer is this. You are delusional and have been indoctrinated by the progressive policies to believe that women are oppressed when they aren't. And to end your ridiculous, ill-informed clip here, you further state, just admit it. Just admit that you've wanted to hit women all along. There is nothing to support this theory of yours. You are simply gorging yourself in the Kool-Aid as your only way to any kind of self-validation is to virtue signal. You are pathetic. This next video here you're about to see is regarding the incident on the train in Philly some time back. I can't state what actually happened due to YouTube censoring. A woman was assaulted on a train and no one stopped it. She was raped on board this train in Philly for six uninterrupted minutes. He threatened her, tore off her clothes and assaulted her. As many as 10 people watched the attack and did nothing. Some even posted it on social media. This speaks volumes as to how American society treats women as less important. Now, it's sad that I have to do this, but due to how things are twisted, unless specifically stated, it's necessary to make it known first and foremost that what this man did to this woman in no way, shape, or form is acceptable. This behavior is downright despicable, and this man deserves to have a chain and cinder block tied to him and thrown in the ocean. Now, with that being said, why do you think that the other passengers did nothing? I mean, people are going as far as to say that those who stood by and watched should be charged. You know, 20 to 30 years ago, maybe even 10 years ago, no one could have ever in a million years gotten away with something like this out in public on a train with 
onlookers at arm's length, there would have been a guy there who would have beat the attacker to within an inch of his life. But that didn't happen in this case, did it? Why is this? When, why do you think this is? Well, let me show you in your own words. I don't need a man, I need a puppy. Allergic to you every time you touch me. Emotional maturity for dummies. I don't have the time to pretend you're funny. I'm bad. I don't need a man, I need a puppy Allergic to you every time you touch me Emotional maturity for dummies I don't have the time to pretend you're funny I'm back, I'm back Let me make something perfectly clear to you I do not need a man I don't need no man I don't need no man <laughs> I don't need no man, and if I want him, I'm going to get him. Come back. Come back. Come back. Women at the behest of an equality movement have militantly beaten into the heads of males in society that we don't need no man, that we are all equal, and that women can do everything a man does, that you need no help, and quite honestly, no man who has a potential future would dare risk his freedom in stepping into a situation like this. The risk to himself is far too great. And with the modern womanist movement, that risk is not worth the reward of a potential lawsuit and jail time. Ladies, you have created this situation and you are incapable of contending with it. There's a reason why the biology of men and women exist. Whether or not you want to admit it, whether or not you like it is entirely irrelevant. You state that you don't need a man, but clearly you do. And you have the audacity to bitch at us men when we rush in to help. And oftentimes we're met with the narcissistic mantra of, I don't need no man. And when we turn around and follow your request for not needing a man, you actually come back and state publicly that every man who was there should face jail time. How dare you? And who do you think that you are? You didn't ask. You demanded equality and now you've got it. But equality isn't all it's cracked up to be now, is it? No, of course not. You now know this, so now you want a tailored form of equality where you want all things equal, but something's more advantageous to yourself. But you can't state this publicly, can you? Because doing so would force you to admit the one constant that never changes, that men are biologically different from women, and as thus, we both have different roles to play. What happened was vile, what happened was abhorrent, what happened was disgusting to its core. But men are no longer willing to put themselves on the line thanks to the actions of women. And who can blame them? Just as a side note, what makes you think that men have the duty to defend you in specific instances in today's society? Because of Supreme Court case law, Police don't even have the duty to defend you. What makes you think that men do? What makes you think that you have the narcissistic audacity to tell a man that he should have to defend you? Especially with the modern womanist thinking. You're equal to a man, remember? You're the same as men. Biological differences be damned, you can do everything that a man does. Except you can't. This was shown when military standards were lowered. This was shown with the standards of many male-dominated fields had to be lowered to accommodate for women. This was shown when the threshold of standards were lowered for women so they could vote. They wanted the ability to vote, but they didn't want to have to be a part of the fire brigade, and they didn't want to have to promise the federal government that when they turned 18, they could be called to war to defend their homeland. And this list can go on and on. That's not equality. That's lowering standards. That is the appeasement for a movement, for an ideal that is destroying the very fabric of society. Well, it's time to bring out our crazy and ignorant levels. I'm going to have to put the turtleneck guy at a crazy level 6 for this video and an ignorance at level 7. This is blatant and willful ignorance and indoctrination. This guy has a lot of videos like this, and there's simply no basis for truth in reality. He is so quick to jump on virtue signaling. Look at me. I'm agreeing with the modern womanist views bandwagon. He doesn't bother to check for validity in what he's saying or just how far off base and disassociated his beliefs with reality actually are. And next, we've got this woman blaming men for not doing anything. There really isn't much crazy here. So we're going to put this at a level 2 crazy. Ignorance, however, is a completely different story. The reasons why things are the way they are is because of the modern womanist view. And the ignorance of this video proves it better than I ever could have explained it either. The ignorance for this video is going to be the highest thus far. And we're going to put this at a level 8 
on the ignorance scale. You are so quick to blame men because society tells you to blame men, but it's you and those like you who want men to sit on the sidelines unless it's a situation you can't handle and thus makes it null and void in your view and thus ultimately makes null and void your view of chanting, us women simply don't need men. One of these days you're going to learn that you cannot have it both ways. I wanted to give you a quick update on the series that I'm working regarding the things a man can do to strategize and ultimately mitigate the losses to the father with regards to his bank account, his livelihood, his possessions, and most importantly, his children when it comes to his cheating wife and mother. It looks like this is going to be a 7 to 10 part series. Right now, I'm working on the first video, which is kind of a general overview of everything that I will be talking about. I do have a quick question for you guys, though. I can't quite decide whether to release it in segments or release all the videos in one go. If you have any thoughts on this, please let me know as I'd appreciate it. All right, thank you for tuning in today to The Fallacious Truth. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. And if you wouldn't, you know, mind doing the YouTube stuff of subscribing and whatnot, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you and take care.